in this shop, it's not a 17 or 11 truck. Tom promotes a unity thing here at Red Horse Racing and it really helps us. We're uh, one team. We work that way in the shop every day. One thing we do differently at Red Horse Racing than I think a lot of teams do that Tom starts stop works his way down is it's one team, multiple entries. At what point in your life did you determine that you were going to be part of auto racing? Wow. That one goes back a while. Uh, I was vice president of marketing for the United States for Mobile Corporation. I had never been to a race of any kind, even though I grew up in South Georgia. My lubricants guys tell me, says, we really need to go to these indie time trials because we need to introduce you to racing. You gotta do it, you gotta do okay. it. But I'm not, but I'm not, if I have to. But I'm not keen on that at all. Okay. You know, I, I got things to do, it's a weekend, you know, I'm busy. Right. We go out there and it's like, wow, this is neat. <laughs> Maybe I need to come back for the 500. Gotcha. Okay, so the hook was set. Now, we obviously, we see the logo, and that was from the beginnings of Mobile, yeah. the red horse there. Yeah. But tell me about the, like, the number look. You guys have a very unique, <laughs> uh, nobody else has a, a look like this. No, no, um, that number, you ever looked at the front of a Mobile One bottle? Mm -hmm. It kind of has a black box with a white number in it. Right. And a lot of work done on recognition and ease of recognition and memory retention and all that stuff. Hey, Mobile did a great job. So why not? Branding it out. So why do I need to get bringing all by myself when a lot of other people already tested it out? There's no question when you see a red horse racing truck on the track, you know which one it is. First time we used that was on the number 11. I used the two ones in the box. I said, okay, one of those ones is you, one of them is me, okay? But we're in this together, and that's what racing's about. When we look here, we see on the walls, we see uh, wind flags, which are always yep. nice. Yep. And and I really like when- oh, And they have the banners up there. Up here, we got some cool banners. And yep. uh, this yep. is this is really what the, I, I guess the, the end prize yep. between yep. the yep. trophies and the and the flags and those kind of things. This, this is what it's really all about. Oh yes. Um, one thing you learn in the industry is that you need to celebrate success. Nothing ties an organization closer together then you may labor through the tough times, but when you have a good time, man, in our world, it's sitting on a pole, it's winning a race, you know, and there's so many races that you can come home with your, kind of your tail truck tucked between your legs and frustrated and angry and all the rest of the stuff and the truck's all wadded up. And, yeah. Okay, you got enough of those. <laughs> you better get happy when you when have these one are of those. Here, enjoy exactly. them, right? Go look at your trophies. <laughs> Not enough. There are not very many team owners that can say the top row of their trophy case has two Daytona trophies. That's pretty special. Uh, and what's even really neat about it to me is, you know, Todd won two with Jermaine. Yeah. And matter of fact, when Timothy won, which is that one, the guy that came in second was Todd. We got half miles, okay? Yeah. Two and a half miles, uh, short tracks, uh, ORP, Memphis, there's a mile and a half missing here. Mm. Okay. I see your that, method to your that, madness. That's, that's the one that, you know, that's the one you really want. Yeah. Todd's won several times in Texas. Texas trophy's pretty cool, too. 